What is going on, everyone? Good morning. Happy Saturday. This is Tim. This is Tearphone Orbital, and we're going to talk about a lightsaber. This is an install commission, or this was an install commission on a whoa, whoa on a Starfall custom. This is a custom one-off hilt. I believe it's a one-off from Starfall Saber. So I would like to uh, come into Fusion and talk about the chassis. This is a one-off chassis, obviously, because this is a one-off hilt. So I want to talk about the chassis a little bit in Fusion, and then we will come up top and talk about the install. And then, of course, we will put a blade in it. We'll talk about how to use the hilt and all that stuff. And then, of course, we will be on our way, right? I'm not going to keep you too long. Uh, there's Saturday morning cartoons that we need to watch. There's a big bowl of cereal that's waiting for me. So anyhow, let's come into Fusion and talk about this chassis, shall we? All right, <laughs> so anyway, so uh, in the comments below, uh, why don't you comment what your favorite cereal was or is currently? Um, I'm old now, so uh, you know, unfortunately, I, I can't eat um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch like I used to. Cinnamon Toast Crunch was my go-to, so I, I can't like eat that every morning. So unfortunately for me nowadays, it's like granola and fruit, so... Anyway, comment what your favorite cereal is. So anyway, let's talk about let's talk about lightsabers. So this is the chassis, uh, super long chassis. It is a little deceptive, right? So you're not going to see this entire chassis uh, when you take the grip off. The lower part uh, of this is what you see when you do take the grip off, though. So this is a relatively thin uh, internal diameter in the grip, right? I think it is uh, one inch all the way throughout. So we do have a 24 millimeter speaker at the bottom. This was a request by the customer. This is a 24 millimeter speaker from Smuggler's Outpost. Uh, there are Greeblies on each side of the chassis itself. So I believe, let me just double check before I, yeah, so this chassis was done in, was it? So this chassis was done in PLA. Okay, so we've got Greeblies on each side of the chassis. I did this with a 0.2 nozzle and I was very happy with the amount of uh, fidelity that I got with my Greebly work, right? Uh, however, I did not do any kind of crazy like blinkies or anything with this chassis because of how thin it is, uh, but I did get pretty heavy with the Greebly work. Did do some knurling work uh, on the midsection here where the kill switch is. I've been doing this a lot lately, uh, this knurling pattern. I'm pretty, I, I like the way that this comes out, uh, especially with uh, a PLA print. I think that is a cool look. Uh, gives the chassis a, a cool tactile feel to it, right? And then of course some like knurling and ridging, not knurling, but some ridges on the spine of the chassis itself. At the bottom, there is a wire management uh, channel. This is where I bring my um, I can't talk today. This is where I bring my negative battery lead as well as my speaker leads all the way up to this cavity underneath the board. So this is a tilted Profi board setup in this build. The Profi does, most of the Profi does, uh, is housed underneath the inner part of the upper part of the hilt, right? So on just underneath the threads, because this is such a, it's a relatively thin hilt, as I mentioned, and there were just like not a lot of room in the grip. So to accommodate for that, I did a tilted profi board setup, right? There is some interesting switch placement that I had to accommodate for uh, in doing that as well, right? So we've got two switches, like side firing switches, eight millimeter switches here. So I had to make sure that I had enough clearance uh, where the profi board was for those switches as well, okay? And that's it, right? So there's our kill switch. And then uh, coming up top, so I just continued this stem all the way up top so I didn't have to create like a separate PCB holder and then mess around with doing a set screw to hold a PCB holder in place. I just had a, whole, a stem all the way up top to hold that PCB holder in place. And that is from CC Sabres. And that's it. Nice and simple. So let's come up top. All right, so here it is, the Starfall. This is a custom one-off from Starfall Sabres, right? So 
Uh, I will start at the bottom. So this is not an, is it on? Yeah, the pommel is unthreadable, right? So uh, no room in the pommel to do any kind of speaker pod setup. Um, like there's just like, wouldn't be any room to even put like a 24 or 22 millimeter speaker in here. Uh, but it is nice that the pommel is modular, okay? The chassis, uh, you get at the chassis by unthreading this grip. Okay, so this is a one inch internal diameter grip. So the uh, chassis is relatively thin. So here's the chassis. The client or customer rather did request that we keep the chassis matte black. So this has been, uh, I sprayed this with a rubber black Tamiya matte black. Uh, I prefer that. That Tamiya matte black is actually what I use uh, extensively in all like the primers for all my chassis. So that is just a nice deep matte black okay here is the profi board just kind of just underneath those threads okay so you have easy access to your usb port your sd card can kind of just slide up underneath that and there is our kill switch okay and that is it right so there is a momentary switch here so to the customer, this did ship with uh, a Phil Guinness switch. I did replace this with one of my switches. If you want to, I'm going to ship this back with Phil's switch as well, but I did replace this with one of my switches. Um, around this side, so this is a pixel, like a tactile pixel switch. I have not seen one of these prior to this install, and I was very, very confounded about this switch. I thought this may have been like an RGB LED tactile switch. Uh, so I got on the Discord and asked around uh, some of my fellow uh, work in progress buddies. Shout out to the work in progress channel. Um, so yeah, I I, well, I need to I need to talk. Let's come down to the bottom. I need to talk about the Discord for a second. So um, the Discord's a uh, the Discord, the Lightsaber Discord is an interesting place, uh, but the Work in Progress channel specifically is a great uh, bastion for folks who are tinkering and learning. And uh, that is usually where I go when I have questions. And the guys, the folks in the Lightsaber Work in Progress channel uh, helped me to identify this switch. I had no idea what this was. Uh, I could not figure out where this switch came from. This is actually a SIG pixel tactile switch. Uh, so shout out to my work in progress buddies uh, in the lightsaber discord. Now I did have to raise this switch just a little bit because of where this profi board is and where the um, chassis and because of where the board is, right? So I did create a washer or like a raised uh, holder for the switch. That's why it's kind of kicked up a little bit. Okay. And that is it. Okay, 24 millimeter speaker, pretty simple setup, right? So let's talk about how to use this guy, okay? Spring side is your negative. You wanna take the flat part of your battery, okay? Put that towards the speaker. Hit your kill switch. So this font, this is my font. Um, I keep meaning to change this. The font wave file for this font is missing. I need to change that. There's that lit switch. Pretty cool feature. So I tried to switch up the animation for this switch. For each font. Okay. All right. So once you get your battery in, all right, you can slide your grip in place. And just like thread it on until it stops and you're ready to go. Okay. So let's come down to the bottom. Okay, so there's that lit SIG pixel switch. I think that's a pretty cool switch. I've not seen though one of these switches until now. I'm just used to seeing it's like the same type of switch that uh, the Custom Saber Shop supplies. 
same like dome, same tactile feel, but it's a pixel switch. So it has the three leads, a, a data, positive and a negative. Cool switch. Let's see what else we put on here. Oops. Okay, let's put a blade in it. Okay, one inch blade blade holder. So you want to, there is a knurled thumb screw around front here that will serve as your blade retention. Just rest your blade on those PCB pins and then you can tighten that knurled set screw and then you are ready to go. See what else we put on here. Lord Vader. One more. I'm never touching that thing again. All right, so that's it. That is a custom Starfall one-off. Man, it's, it's always very handy having a knurled blade retention thumb screw there. So there is a better look at that hilt. Painted emitter, heat staining. Okay, so that's it. So to the customer, thank you very much for your patience and choosing me for your install. If anyone has any questions about this particular install or anything really, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude.